continuing our divorce in the section on forgiveness. Lesson number 10, 1 John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. John 1, 6. John came as God's witness to the light of Jesus Christ. When we walk in that light, we are in fellowship and clean in his blood. It is, be, it is pure because Jesus is pure truth. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. John 1, 9. Every man. His eternal truth is declared in creation. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech. And night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Psalm 19, 1 through 6. By such manifestation of nature, all human pagans are without excuse. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans 1.20 In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John 1, 4 and 5 his light is all-consuming and incomprehensible. It is a light enfolding itself. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind come out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolding itself. And a brightness was about it, and out of the midst of was the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. Ezekiel 1, 4. The most powerful black hole cannot overcome this life light. Therefore, he can lighten your darkness, but you have to open the door. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Revelation 3.20 Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John eight twelve. Jesus said, I am. It is not he was in eternity past, or that he came in the virgin's womb that sheds light, but that he is now. Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost, that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Hebrews 7.25 As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. John 9.5 His presence was direct light. 
Now in his physical absence, his light is shed by the Holy Spirit and our witness. And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not on me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and ye see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. John sixteen eight to 11 but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Ephesians 5.13 <clears throat> Is God the Holy Spirit making manifest the sin in your life? Is the Holy Spirit shining Jesus through your testimony? A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people, Israel, Luke 2, 32. Jesus came as the Jewish Messiah, but far beyond that he became the Savior of the world. She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Matthew one twenty one to 23 To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet in the way of peace. Luke one seventy nine. He is coming, was to bring light to our darkness, and to give us peace. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Psalm 85, 10. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Matthew eleven thirty. The people which sat in darkness saw great light. And to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. Matthew four sixteen. The echoing chamber of the prophet Isaiah still rings across the ages of time and bids all men to come to the light and be whole. But the hardness of man refuses. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be manifest that they are wrought in God. John three nineteen and 20. Most people have a love-hate attitude toward God's word. Even those who try to be neutral when pressed for conformity will show their contempt. Many try to appear as if they are just asleep. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Ephesians 5, 14. You want light? Then you are going to have to wake up. Whatever the sand in your eyes, wake up, wash it out, and you will see. And said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore, and washed, and came seeing. John 9, 7. He might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Ephesians five twenty six. Once you wash out your eyes, you won't be in the dark. For you were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Ephesians 5.8 Once the light is turned on and the darkness is filled, you will see and understand God in Christ. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ, 2 Corinthians 4, 6.
it is then you realize all you have in Jesus that you find the desire to be his light in this present world. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5, 14 and 15. Jesus is no longer with us. Among his last words to his disciples is, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. Matthew 28, 19 and 20. What is referred to as the Great Commission. But ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Acts 1.8 You can't do that if you, your vision is full of clutter. You must have tunnel vision. The light of the body is the eye. If there, therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light as in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? Matthew six twenty two. So we have a choice. We can turn our eyes upon Jesus or we can look at the world, ourselves, or others. Mostly, we just like to look at ourselves. But when we follow these principles, then not only do we have the eternal redemption of the blood, but it keeps on working in our lives to clean up our act. First John 1 7, the blood of Christ works in the conscience to convict us of our daily cognitive behavior. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Hebrews 9.14 This purging of ourselves by his blood is preparation for service. So where does he want you to serve? He himself said he came to serve and to save, Luke 19, 10, and to set us free from the devil. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death that is the devil, Hebrews 2.14. You no longer have to live in fear of death, Hebrews 2.15. You no longer are subject to his kingdom if you have been redeemed. Whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God, Romans 3.25. Are all your sins covered if you believe? Paul said you can live in the Spirit above the flesh if you will. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they which are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh." 
But they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit, Romans 8, 1 to 5. The problem is that we don't want to live above the flesh. Jesus said, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Matthew 26, 28. When a person has cancer and the doctors have abated it or cured it or set it back, we say that their cancer is in remission. God wants to remit your sins. The captive condemning nature of the law is removed in the Jesus' blood. We have a new agreement signed in blood. We are blood brothers. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ, Ephesians 2.13. Close family ties, seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, Ephesians 2.6. In the riches of his grace, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, Ephesians 1.7. Because we have been redeemed, been forgiven, and walk in fellowship with him, we have a responsibility to lead the body of Christ, especially newborns, into his blood-washed fellowship. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers, to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Acts twenty twenty eight. So are you going to be one with Jesus Christ in being a faithful witness? And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, and to him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, Revelation 1, 5. You have a debt in the liberty and freedom in Christ to manifest the same to others. There is a world waiting to hear of the fellowship of the saints. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 7, 14. Forgiveness number 2, 1 John 1, 7. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. And that includes the sin of divorce and remarriage. And next will be Lesson 11, 1 John 1, 8.